Agriculture is the raising of plants and animals that can be used by people. Most of the time we just eat the food and we don't know how it's grown, where it comes from, what it takes to go into it. I'm Sarah Hoffman. My name is Jackie Brown. We're in Sacramento, California. I work for the Department of Agriculture, the USDA. I'm a statistician for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. We collect data on agriculture across the USA, from the amount of grapes that are being grown to the number of dairy cows, all sorts of interesting information. Agriculture in the U.S. is huge. There's over 2.1 million farms with over 900 million acres. This map shows the number of farms in the U.S. Each dot represents 200 farms. So you can see there are a lot of farms here in the Midwest, up and down the country, and over here in the eastern states. But there are farms everywhere in the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. Different crops like different types of weather. For example, in Florida, you have a lot of citrus because the citrus crop loves the warm weather. In the southeast, you have your greens, such as collards, cabbages, kale. In the Midwest, you have more of your grains, such as corns, barley, wheat, oats, hay. In the northwestern area, you have your potatoes, your dry beans. Potatoes need cold weather. On the west coast, you have a vast amount of crops that grow. Almost every crop grows on the west coast. Statistics is very important because it tells a story about what you're trying to investigate. I noticed some trends that the Valencia oranges are decreasing throughout the state of California. We wanted to know where all the dairy cows were in the United States. Where is milk being produced in the country? So we collected statistics and we put it into a map. Each blue dot means 2,000 milk cows. As you can see, there's a high concentration here in California, but there's also a lot out in Wisconsin in the Midwest. This map shows the difference between 1997 and 2002. The blue dots means that we've added milk cows, and the red dots mean milk cows have moved away from that area. So as you can see, California has a lot of blue dots, which corresponds to the increase in dairies in California, and the Wisconsin area over here has had a lot more red dots, which means that the dairies are moving away from there. There are different ways to get statistical information. One way is to ask everybody every single question possible, but that's very time consuming and very expensive. We take a sample of people instead of asking everyone. If we wanted to know something about apple orchards, we could compile a list of every apple grower in the country and just grab a few of those randomly selected to go talk to. The USDA is interested in making sure that the U.S. has good agriculture. One of the biggest challenges is making sure that you start with good data. We need to make sure that we're asking not only the right farmers, but the right questions. One of the trends that we're seeing in U.S. agriculture is an increase in the number of vegetables and fruits and nut crops that are grown. Organic farms are increasing in the United States. If there are no statistics available for people to use, then people are making their decisions, decisions that might keep them in business or have them go out of business on guesses or on misinformation. So having good statistics helps everyone make better informed decisions. Every state I've ever been in, farmers are just wonderful, wonderful people. They really care about what they do, they're proud of what they do, and it's important what they do.